Hi, I'm Max for Maori Plugin. This is an introduction to scripting in Marui. Scripting allows you to build your own VR functions. So let's get started. First, I'm going to load Marui. And then I open the script editor. Here I've prepared a short simple script. I can do all the scripting in either Mel or Python. Here I will be using Mel. Now let's say you want to create a 3D painting feature like Oculus Medium, but in Maya. For this I have created a short painting function. First I need to find out how big my Maya scene is. This I can find out with the Marui navigation command. It will give me the scale of one real world millimeter in Maya units. For my painting app I want the brush to be one real world inch, so I multiply the value by 25.4. Next I use the Maya command to create a polygon cube. Now I still need to know where to position the cube. I can carry the position of the controller from the Marui UI command. This will be in Maya units. The same command also gives me the controller rotation and I can even choose the rotation order. Here I choose XYZ. In Marui you can create your own user interface elements which are called widgets. The most simple widget is a command. A command is simply a way to map a function to a controller button. You can choose the icon to appear on the button with the icon parameter. Finally, you can choose a name for your widget. A command can be triggered upon different events. Marui offers four such events. Click, drag start, drag continue and drag stop. Finally, I can connect the command to any controller button with a Marui UI map parameter. But instead of doing this now, I want to show you Marui's user interface layout editor, which is a more simple way to control your button mappings. Here on the top, you have a list of all the widgets that are available, including the ones you have defined yourself. Here's my paint command. Next, I can choose which controllers I'm using. I want to use the HTC Vive now. I can change one of the existing layouts, or I can create my own new layout. And now I'm just going to select a button to attach my paint command to. I can save my changes to the hard disk. The next time I start Marui, they will be loaded automatically. Now I just need to start Marui. And here you can see my new command on the controller. Okay, so let's take a look. Nice, but I wanna play with this some more. Let's go back to the script editor. Now I want to add some dynamics to my brush. I want the brush to become smaller over time. I also want the complete brush stroke to become one single object. So I'm adding two new global variables, the size and the list of objects in the stroke. Now I'm adding a function to be called at the beginning of the brush stroke. This will set up the initial brush size. I'm also setting up a timer widget. A timer is a command that is called repeatedly by Marui. This one will decrease the brush size. I can set up the number of times it will be called, zero means indefinitely, and the time interval in milliseconds. Now I add this brush size factor to my paint function. And also make it save all the names of the objects in the stroke. I also want my paint function to delete the timer widget when the brush size reaches zero. Finally, I'm also adding a function to be called at the end of the brush stroke that will combine all the objects into one object and clear the list. Now I just need to add these two new functions to my command widget. Okay, time to take another look. Now the brush size becomes smaller over time. And the complete brush stroke is one single object that I can edit. Keep in mind this is still all in Maya, so I can use the complete Maya toolset to edit this object. 
I can select any single vertex or extrude some faces or I could create some joints And I can even animate it. Now that's something you can't do in Oculus Media. Finally, I just want to add a menu to control the brush size. For this, Marui offers a marking menu widget, to which you can add any number of items. Each item can have a tooltip, icon, and of course, either a mel or python command to be called when selecting it. Now I just need to place it on one of the controller buttons. Again, I can either use a script command, or the Marui User Interface Layout Editor. And here you can see my new menu. That's it! Thanks for watching!